I'm gonna let it get down in the grass a little bit more. Give it a rip. There's a bite. There he is. Hey there, folks. Just eating a peanut butter and jelly. Okay, well, now I've got a bunch of peanut butter in my mouth. Anyways, today I'm bass fishing, power bass fishing. It's fall this time of year. You can really go big. You can move water fast, and I'm stoked to do that. I haven't done that in a long time. If you watched my previous video, I did some ultralight fishing this morning. I've got a full day to fish. I took off a Wednesday from work, and I'm focused on just spending time for myself and catching fish. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to ramble about this. What I want to do is eat my peanut butter and jelly, and then I want to focus on big old bass. So let's get started. Folks, it's spooky season. These bass are trying to eat heavy. They want big meals. Saltwater, super spook. About to get blasted. Not giving up on the top water. Just want to give the uh, jerk bait a quick try. All right, we're just gonna work our way down the list. Jerk bait, no go. Top water, no go. Let's try the chatterbait. Everybody talks these things up. I've actually never tried one before. It's the, the Zako by Gary Yamamoto. They say this is a great trailer for chatterbaits. Here goes a little bass. Okay. Not really having any luck so far, obviously, but I just, ooh, there, I just saw another. Good deal, okay. Starting to see some fish. Nothing big so far, but I saw two bass cruising around in here. Bass don't seem to be as aggressive as I'd like them. This time of year, they usually are feeding heavy. I must not have got them on a good day because they are not looking like they're feeding heavy right now. Oh, there, there they are. Legit, I see, I see two fish right there, I think, or at least one. I see one fish right there for sure. There might be two. Cast in front of him, he's coming down for it. He's got it. Okay, well, we're gonna just sight fish little dinks today, I guess. We're on the board and that's what counts. Good news is we figured out that they will eat the net rig, so that's good. Bad news is it's tiny, so that's not good. Okay, so far the bass fishing is not exactly great. Is anything eating my net rig? Oh my gosh, I have a fish. No, he came off. What I was saying is that so far, we haven't exactly figured anything out. We've caught one fish, which is okay. At least we've got the skunk off the boat. There's another fish. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm just, I'm just not cut out to be a YouTuber. Ned rig for life. <laughs> All right, buddy. Wonderful, he pooped on me. God. <sighs> Another one, my gosh. My plan was to do a bit of an update, um, but I keep casting out the Ned rig and I'm thinking, oh, I'll just let it sit there while I update the folks. And no, you know, I've got a guy power washing his house in the background, it's extremely loud. Bass keep eating every time I try to do an update. My life is a mess right now. I mean, it's a good thing, but... Bloop. You're kidding me. I gotta put my head cam back on. Oh, this one's actually pretty good. Okay. Things are happening. Let me explain. Decent fish. See you, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna explain. I'm not gonna make another cast. Let me just explain what the heck is going on right now. What has happened is there's a guy right there he is currently power washing his house. I apologize if you can hear that. It's like, oh, yeah, so, yeah. Anyways, um, so I was actually getting ready to update you folks and tell you that I was gonna buzz by all those docks right there. I was gonna buzz by all those docks. I was gonna throw the net rig at them. I was gonna move water quick, and then I was gonna go to the other side of the lake. The other side of the lake actually lays out very different than this side of the lake. So I was just gonna try new things is what I was gonna say. But then like three or four casts in a row, this little corner right here is producing bass. Now they're not big, but that last one was an upgrade. So maybe there's a couple more big ones down there. Clearly there's something going on right here. So I'm gonna fish it a little bit, and then I am gonna stick to that plan. I do wanna try the other side of the lake. I have no idea what to expect. I've never had a ton of luck over there. I've been to this lake quite a few times. Never really caught any giants out here, but I know there's gotta be some big ones down there. So keeping my fingers crossed, the net rig is paying off as usual. Um, all the power fishing stuff just isn't really working super well, but I have a feeling if it was windier, it would work really well. Today it's just not that much wind. And I think that that is probably why the power fishing uh, side of things is just not, not too good. Anyways, let's get back to those fish because clearly there's a few down there and I wanna catch a couple more on the net rig. So let's get started. Right by the kayak, dad gum. Okay, just dink city. Ned rig for life. This is what happens. You wear a shirt that says Ned rig for life, you're gonna have to just throw a Ned rig, okay? There is nothing else you can throw to catch fish when you throw a Ned rig shirt. Or I mean, when you are wearing it, I don't even know. My brain is not functioning, okay? Just cut me some slack. 
Well, this is cool. There's just a freaking pile of bass down there. My gosh, what is going on with this spot? There's so many dinky bass down there. Guys, I know lots of you are gonna be like, oh, why don't you go catch a big bass, Ethan? And I'll be like, bro, I found a whole bunch of fish that are willing to bite this net rig and I'm totally cool with that. So stop talking in a weird monster voice and don't tell me what to do. I like these fish, they're fun. Oh my gosh, it's automatic. It's automatic, there's a mega school of micro bass. I'm gonna get back to fishing the big stuff. I do want to catch some big fish today, but if there's a big school of fish willing to smoke a net rig, then I'm gonna take advantage. I'm just using a uh, 1 16th ounce mule jig, white, and I've got this uh, Finesse TRD on there, and this is the deal color. It's kind of like a darker complexion on the back, and then it's like a minnow type color on the bottom. I don't know, I like throwing this one this time of year. It's like a, it's a good bait fish imitator. Another one. This one feels a little better. Don't know if it is or if it's just pulling harder. Yeah, good fish. Respectable fish. All right. Ned Rig. Beautiful fish, he's chunky, he's healthy. So that's cool. See if we can't catch another one. So the fish either moved or this area just cooled off. And uh, my guess is the fish moved. This time of year, they're chasing the bait. And so if I'm gonna predict what the heck happened here is I think a bunch of bait fish were in this area. The bass chased them in. It happened really fast. I caught a bunch of fish and now it seems to be cooling off. So either the bait fish kept moving, they went that way, this way, who knows, but the bass went with them. That is my theory and I'm sticking to it. Okay, I'm pulling up to the other side of the lake. I decided I'm gonna switch locations and the reason is it's windier over here. I'm gonna try the spook again. Why not? Let's give it a shot. Just gonna try some different stuff, shake it up a little bit. If we have to, we'll go back to the Ned Rig. If we stumble upon a couple more schools of fish, that'd be great. Otherwise, man, it's beautiful outside. It's freaking beautiful. I have a feeling this spot's gonna be rocking and rolling, but I have a feeling I'm gonna need to throw the Ned Rig to catch fish. This looks really good. I just gotta get a little further forward. Try the top water just a few more times around that transition from shallow to deep. Come on. Man, it would be great to get a big fish on this top water. Oh my gosh, there he is! Yes, 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 yes. Great timing. Definitely gonna be my best fish of the day. Oh yeah, spooky season. Oh my gosh. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. It's spooky season, boys. Middle of the day, folks. During the fall, you can throw top water all day long. That's what's beautiful about it. It's the one downside of using these big ones is how many dang hooks they have. Bit of an overkill, but I just mostly like the profile of the bait. Maybe I should just remove the middle treble. That might honestly be, that honestly might be a good idea. All right, buddy, best fish of the day. That's not saying much. Whoa. What the heck was that all about? Well, I hope I don't botch this spot because I'm right on top of where I need to be fishing. We've got a wind blown flat up here and it has a nice drop off on it and it's sandwiched in between two points. So I think there's gonna be a lot of bass up here. I'm gonna throw the Ned Rig in here and that's gonna just clean house. Oh, there he is. Oh shoot, gum. This is about the same size as the last one. He was just kind of barely nipped at it. Oh, there we, oh. And he just bopped that thing out of the water. He's coming back for it. Oh, oh gummit! they're just swiping at it. If there's big fish present, they're gonna smash this thing. Unfortunately, the little ones might not take it down all the way. I think that this thing's going to clean house right there. That'll work. Guaranteed fish. I'm, I'm just calling it, just straight up calling it. Guaranteed fish. You guys ready? Ned Rig is going to just clean it up. I ripped it out of some grass there. There's probably a, there he is. I ripped it out of the grass and then I felt a bite. I knew that was gonna happen. Every time you rip a net rig out of the grass, hang on tight. Even if it's a little dink like this, it's always a good time. Rip a net rig out of the grass, you will catch a bass. Trust me. I might try my jerk bait here too. Jerk bait might work. There's a fish. What's this? That's a rock bass. What the heck are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. All right, Rocco, there you go. All right, net rig. Keep it up, keep it up. Another one. I told you, there's a lot of fish here. They're just not very big. There's gotta be at least a couple big ones somewhere around here. I feel like I'm fishing the right kind of stuff. Well, that's interesting. I like hooked him. I like put a knot through my own line. That's weird. Look at that. I like looped my uh, line around my hook and still managed to hook him. I don't understand that at all. All right, now, there he is. Oh, it's just another dink. My gosh, there's so many of these little guys. 
All right, there you go, buddy. You want to see me catch a fish on a netter egg? Yeah. All right. All right, watch. I'm catching one this cast. Call my shot. Told ya. <laughs> They're not big. They're not big, but I'm catching them. <laughs> There's just too many fish this size in this lake. That's the problem. The area I was just catching a bunch of fish seems to have lost its juju, so I'm kind of moving back up a little bit. This might be a good fish. Uh, he wants to be big. I don't know if he is or isn't. He's my best fish of the day, I think. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, lordy, lordy. That's a good one. All right. Folks, what do you think about that? It's a decent fish for this lake. Thank you, Nedrig. Yeah, I'm moving up, uh, up the lake a little bit because the uh, other spot seems to uh, have lost its magic. So we've got to keep moving and grooving. Hopefully there's some more right here. So there's just a nice break line right here and it, the wind is just rolling down it. So I literally ripped my uh, Ned Rig out of the grass and he pelted it. I'm telling you guys, rip the Ned Rig out of the grass, you will catch a bass. Rip your Ned Rig out of the grass and you will catch a bass. That could honestly be a jingle. We should probably make it a jingle for my YouTube channel. Another one. Hey -o. Oh, he ditched it. He jumped about a foot and a half in the air, that gum. There's gotta be a couple more. I just got two in a row. There he is. Three in a row. And he's dinky. Those larger fish must be mixed in a little bit because that one I just caught was probably about 15 inches and he was fat. Not complaining about it, buddy. Thank you so much. A little kiss on the head. Send him home. I'm gonna let it get down in the grass a little bit more. Give it a rip. There's a bite. There he is. What'd I say? Rip it out of the grass, catch a fish. God, it's just too easy, boys. It's too dang easy. Let me walk you through kind of what I'm doing. So I'll cast it out there. I, I keep it in line with the wind, if at all possible. I like to keep my nose pointed in the wind. Um, it makes it a lot easier to control your bait. And then I just let it sink down there. Um, you know, right now I'm fishing pretty deep, actually. Um, I'm kind of fishing this transition from shallow to deep. I'm sitting in 25 foot. My, my net rig's probably in 12 to 14. But I'm just getting it down there to the bottom. And then I'm just twitching it. And uh, if I start to feel it bogged down in grass, I rip it and then I just let it chill. And I'll just give it a few seconds. And if nothing wants to eat it, then I'll kind of twitch it up a little bit, reel down some slack, and I'll just repeat that process. Now, usually most of my bites today, uh, again, after I've, sa I've said this a thousand times, but most of my bites today is just you rip it free of that grass, you let it chill for like two seconds and you watch your line. And then all of a sudden there'll be a fish on there. So it is a tried and true technique that I've done a thousand times. And today it's certainly working well um, with this wind and the fact that it's fall right now and these fish should be chasing a little bit. Um, it just seems to be a really good uh, presentation for the conditions. Hey, that's a crappie. <laughs> There's a crappie mixed in with these shallow bass. So I'll be a little crappie. Okay. I was going after them earlier. All right. Last cast with the netter egg. Then I'm going to pick up the spook for maybe 10 minutes. Come on now. There he is. God, I felt my line go slack. I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention. It's another decent one. No, daggummit. I lost a couple on the jump, man. These guys are jumping. I've cut a lot of fish on the net rig, but I want to try the spook some more because I really think, I just trust there's got to be a big one down there willing to just throttle this thing. There's got to be. Yeah, a little chunk. Oh, he's a jumper. See if he wants to shake the hook. You ain't shaking no hook. Oh gosh, hooked him kind of weird right in the bottom of the mouth. Ah, there you go. Ned Rig for life. How many times have I said that today? Ned Rig, I love you. I do, but I want to try the jerk bait. All right, jerk bait, do your thing. Work your magic. I got to catch at least one on the jerk bait today. Just doesn't make sense. The wind is at its peak right here. Thank you. I was gonna say, how am I not catching just one on the jerk bait? Oh my gosh, he's barely hooked. Please don't, please don't, please don't be a jerk. Please don't be a jerk. Just barely. But we did it, dude. Pink jerk bait, that's what's up. All right. All right, buddy, let's get you back. Little, little tiny guy. What do you know, another dink. 
Okay, I've got some time left to fish. That being said, I figured I'd take a few minutes to talk about my setup. Now, many of you already know what setup this is, but I wanted to explain it if you didn't know. So I'm using a size 2500 Shimano reel. I use 10 pound high visibility braided fishing line. This one happens to be like Sunline X Plasma or something. It's pretty good, um, but I like the, the bright green color. It allows me to, to uh, detect bites a lot easier. And uh, then I'm using a seven or no, eight pound fluorocarbon leader probably about seven foot of it. I usually, you know, tie on seven foot and then I'll just fish it down to where it's three or four foot and then I'll replace it. Um, and then I'm using a 1 16th ounce white mule jig with a finesse TRD in the deal color. And then the rod is a discontinued G Loomis GL2 mag light drop shot rod. It's basically like a six foot 10 medium light type rod. Um, it's got a lot of softness to the tip, but it's got enough backbone to where you can pull them up and out of grass. I just really, really like this rod. I got it for Ned Riggs many, many, years ago when Ned Rigs weren't even really a thing um, and now they've blown up but this rod right here has always been my go-to eventually I'll probably replace it but I'm never gonna get rid of this rod it's just a matter of if it ever breaks or maybe I'll retire it who knows but for now this is a great Ned Rig rod and I would look for something similar if you are looking for something to do the job with a Ned Rig. If you have any questions about, you know, my Ned Rig setup or some of my tips and whatnot, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I've got a ton of videos. Just do a uh, hashtag Ned Rig for life on YouTube and you will see it. And you know what? That's a pretty good bass. All right. Ned Rig in the face. Gotta love it. Decent fish. You know, there's my alien hand right there. Makes it look pretty small. But remember, I have alien hands. You gotta remember perspective. Cool. Little tiny bite, but it's not a bad fish, I don't think. Guy, he just bit so dang light. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not a good fish. It's not a good fish, but that would explain the light bite, my friends. That would explain the light bite. Light bite from a light fish. Hey, stop wiggling. Bye. The good news is I still got it. You know, I haven't Ned Rig fished in a while, but I still got it. I don't want to lose my Ned Rig skills. I feel like I probably have the most Ned Rig videos on the internet and I have to keep my title, you know, that's another one. I gotta keep my title as the Ned Rig master. Yes, that's a good one. That's a good one, boys. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we are just Ned Rigging our freaking pants off right now. Ned Rig till your pants fall off, new t-shirt. I mean, I'm not actually gonna make that t-shirt, but if someone wants to make a t-shirt that says Ned Rig till your pants fall off, I will wear it on a video. So feel free to send me one. What am I talking about? I'm losing my mind out here, folks. It's a good time though. I like losing my mind while catching fish. I enjoy it. You should always fish under turtles. That turtle was chilling and this bass was right beneath him. My friends, you're learning so many interesting facts today. Like literally you should always fish under turtles because I did, and look what I caught. If you are not on the turtle pattern, what pattern are you on? Okay, folks, I tell you what, I had an absolute blast today. I, you know, I've been on the water all day long and man, it just felt good. I could use a couple more days like this, but all in all, I got my fill, so I'm a very happy guy. Um, I wanted to say, you know, I wasn't really planning on having a Ned Rig tip be the primary point of this video. I was planning on doing a lot of power bass fishing today, but the Ned Rig prevailed, and I gotta say, the technique that I used is something that I think will help you as well, especially during the fall. During the fall, these fish are definitely feeding up, trying to get a lot of caloric intake before the winter, so they've got a bunch of fat stored up. Well, the thing is, is they did not seem to be reacting well to reaction baits, which usually I would say use those in the fall. Spinner baits, jerk baits, top water, all that kind of stuff. But today they didn't want to go after that, but what they did want to do is go after the Ned Rig after a hard twitch out of the grass. I'm telling you guys, rip it out of the grass, let it chill, let it flutter down to the bottom, and hold on. On. It worked so well for me today. I caught a ton of fish and the majority of them definitely were on that very presentation. So if you've never used that presentation before, I would highly recommend you try it, especially during the fall. I tell you what, if you're still here, if you watch this entire video and you hung in there with me, even though I lost my mind about 400 times, you're awesome. And I just want you to know that I appreciate the heck out of you. I hope you have a fantastic day and always remember, hashtag Nedrig for life. We'll catch you next time. Hey oh, bonus fish. Yes, sir. That's right. I just did my outro. I'm going back to the boat ramp. And yeah, we caught another giant because this is what we do. We catch giants. <laughs>